All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushah, by Hashem Rakak with Das. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a shit, Shalom, to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, I want to go on this topic of the microchipped or this microchipped Bitcoin wallet. It's all kinds of creepy and very possibly the future, okay? Which, uh, Bitcoin, okay, is, uh, going to come out with an RFID chip, okay, called the Buy Chip, okay? It says, uh, this is by Josh Levinson, um, January 20th, I mean, 15th, 2018, it says those looking to store their Bitcoin and Ripple in a vault more secure than an online wallet are in luck. As Biochip has released an update for its microchip implant, introducing support for the popular popular cryptocurrencies. Okay, so basically, people are going to be able to store. Their Bitcoin and their Ripple or that whatever cryptocurrency they have, okay, on a chip, okay, instead of uh, online wallet, okay. It says uh, what that essentially means is that going forward, you'll be able to store your virtual cash and import ledger document documentation under your skin. Mitigating the risk of hackers tapping into your cloud storage or online wallet to drain your account. And it's kind of, it's hard harder to, you know, get it um hacked, you know, while you while it's on you, you know. See anything can happen, you know, to an internet, you know, but when it comes down to that chip, it'll still be on you. Okay? If you get it implanted, you know. Um so that shows that the chip is here, man. Okay. It says while embedded microchips may sound far more, I mean, far from normal in 2018, a number of experts believe they're the direction technology is heading in. Okay, so experts. Okay, let me look up this word expert. These are people who, who know what they're talking about. Okay. And a person who has comprehensive and authoritative knowledge of or skill in a particular area. Okay, so these are people that have skills in this particular area. And they're able to, to foresee things on, on um, and, and what this uh, Bitcoin and everything um, has going on. Okay, the, the, the direction that it's going in. And um, that's what direction that it's going in, to the, to the buy chip. Okay, which is the RFID chip uh, technology. Okay, with a contactless payment system, also on the cards, it's not impossible that buy chip and technologies like it could hit the mainstream in a decade or so. However, big data companies have a lot to prove before many customers, including myself, would feel comfortable walking around with a microchip embedded in their hand. Okay, and that's going to be easy. You know, uh, the dollar dollar bill collapsing, and they force it on you. Okay? But, you know, as time goes on, they're going to try to make people feel comfortable, okay, or try to feel comfortable with the idea. Okay, they might uh, have celebrities um, use it, you know, which a lot of celebrities do use it or have it, okay? It's just not uh, super mainstream right now, okay? As it, 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 the article said, it's far from normal right now, okay? But you're going to have people, they're going to push this in a in a uh, manner, you know, that is going to make people feel like, oh, yeah, that's the right thing to do, okay? And, and a lot of it is going to be by force. It says, uh, cash transfer firm MoneyGram revealed last week that it was tri tri trailing or trialing Ripple to see whether it can be used to move funds between accounts 
in a faster and more affordable way than traditional methods, namely inter international wire transfer. Ripple is a lot faster and cheaper than rivals Bitcoin, e Ethereum, Ethereum, uh, and Litecoin, taking two to three seconds to process a standard transaction, which accumulates fees uh, amounting to to fractions of a penny, maximizing profits for financial instructions. I mean, inst institutions. Okay. So, you know, that's pretty much the uh the article. The the way that the society is going is going into the uh RFID chip technology. And that's our scriptures. Okay, this is uh Revelation uh thirteen and fifteen. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Okay. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay. And all of this stuff goes into what America stands for. Okay. It says, um... And that no man might buy or sell. So so if you have Bitcoin, you might not be able to, to, to achieve it. Okay, via the, the internet, especially with this net neutrality coming along. You might not be able to retrieve it from off of that. So you might have to get that, that coin implanted. I mean, the uh, chip implanted in you, the buy chip. Okay. In order to say that you have that uh, that amount of money. Okay. Because you're not going to be able to use it. You're not going to be able to use that Bitcoin unless you have that RFID chip. Okay? Or, or, or use money, period. It says, save he that had the, the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay? So, so there it is, man. You know, this, this RFID chip is, is here, man. Okay? That's why we're not supposed to be getting caught up into the ways of this world because they're going to start forcing this stuff. And if you take that chip, you're pretty much done for, man. Okay? You, you're not going to uh, make it, you know, if you take that uh, that chip, man. Okay? Uh, twenty Revelation 20 and 4. And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, I mean, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given given unto them and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Sah and for the word of, of Yahweh the Most High, Yahweh Basim Yahweh and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Yahweh Sah a thousand years. Okay, so you can't take that chip and expect to, to, to be good, okay, when it comes down to the Most High God. But you have a lot of people that are going to take that chip because they're weak-minded, okay? They don't have the spirit. It's not it's on, It's not for them, okay? This is uh, 1 Timothy 6 and 17. Charge them that are rich in this world, you know? Because you got people who got rich off of this Bitcoin, okay? That they be not high-minded, okay? Nor trust in uncertain riches. Because that Bitcoin, at the end of the day... It's an uncertain rich, okay? And when that, when that, um, you, you, it could get hacked or whatever, and they, they, they're going to say that to avoid all of that, you can get this, this, uh, implanted in you, and you won't have to worry about that going into the future, okay? But then you, you still have to, to, to worry about other stuff, man. So all the problems, this chip is supposed to be the answer to all the problems, okay? But it's still going to be other problems, man, okay? Because it's an uncertain rich, okay? It says, but in the living power, Yahweh, who gives us richly all things to enjoy, okay? And you, you, you don't, money is not worth anything. You use money to buy things that are worth something. They might sit up there and say a dollar bill is this, that, or whatever. 
But that dollar bill is always losing um, its value. Okay? So, and that's the same thing with this Bitcoin. Okay? Or any other thing that, you know, is out here that you have to buy things with. Okay? So, with that, man, the chip is already here. Okay? And um, I just want to say, y'all, uh, so long until next time.